Hey there, Rob Arnold here. Do you have a new DiMarzio clip lock strap? Or maybe you've just been curious about them and you'd like to learn about the best way to get it installed on your guitar? Well, the good news is it's super easy and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So the DiMarzio clip lock straps are awesome, super durable and virtually indestructible. They're way better than traditional straps, which tend to wear out over time and sometimes will slip off the ends of your strap buttons. I've been using these for about 20 years and have one installed on every guitar I own. They work with a little clip system like this that makes them easily interchangeable when you want to swap guitars or straps. The female end attaches to your guitar securely and the male end of the strap slips in and out like so. This female end is attached to your guitar so there's no chance of it coming off, you know? There's going to be a screw going through there. So uh, let's take a look at everything that's in the package. First, obviously, the strap itself with two male ends, adjustable to whatever length you like. Then these are the strap fasteners that will go on to where your strap buttons are currently. And the first step of the process is actually taking off your old strap buttons so that you can take a look at the old screws and compare them to these screws. This set comes with two silver screws and two black screws. The silver screws are pretty small and are pretty standard. They say that most Fender and other American made guitars use the enclosed thin chrome screws with the chrome clip lock bushings and white washers. So these come installed with the chrome bushings already in there, but you can pop those out if you need to put the black ones in. Now they say a lot of Ibanez guitars and, and some of that sort have a bigger size screw like this black one, which are a little more durable too. I, I like to use these when I can, but they recommend using the screws that match the size of the screws that are in your guitar because they're already pre-drilled for that. So if you were gonna use the silver screws, you'd simply use the silver bushings that are in there. And if your screws match more of the black size, then you're gonna use the black screws, the black bushings, and the black washer. And the process is like this. Let's say we're going with the silver. We're gonna find out in a minute when we take the old uh, screws and buttons off of the guitar here. But we're gonna go silver screw into the bushing, through the strap, through the washer, and then into the guitar. So, Let's take the old strap buttons off the guitar and see what we're gonna end up using. Okay, so here we are with the guitar and I've got a normal strap button there with the Phillips head and another one at the top position there. And let's remove these. So, let's compare these here. Does this look more like the silver one or the big black one? Definitely just about the same size as the silver screws, certainly around the same thickness and just about the same length. The black one would be way too huge. We might crack our body cavity there unless we drill that out and route that out, which I'll say, that I used to do on my touring guitars. I would route out that hole slightly bigger just to have a little more durability. I feel this is a bigger and stronger screw and they've never failed me, but that's because we were jumping around on stage every night, night after night for years, and I don't really think that that's necessary. So we're gonna use the silver screws with the white bushings or clear white, can't really tell. It's like, it looks like a piece of plastic. And I'm sorry, the silver bushings and the white washer. So it's, I'm gonna get rid of everything we don't need here. And now we assemble. So screw 
through the bushing. And again, that bushing just comes in and out there. You just stick it through. I like to put it through on the side with no marking on the clip so that the this marking on the clip here, I don't know what that says, ITW Nexus. Some plastic markings there. I like to have that on the inside of the guitar so you don't really see it. So on the side with no markings, we're gonna stick the bushing through, screw through like that. And then one of the plastic washers and the assembly is done. That goes right into the guitar. Let's do it to one more. Screw through the bushing. Make sure we got the flat side there, not with the marking. Good. Washer on. And that's done. Easy as that. Let's pop these on. Should fit right back in my hole there. No problem. Having the right size screwdriver for this is imperative so you don't strip the top of that screw. Applying a nice bit of pressure at all times. And then before I give it its final tighten, I like to kind of move it into place. My strap's obviously gonna be coming this way around my body, so I'll move it into place and I'll give it one more little snug tight. And that should be good to go. And it's still able to move freely. So however you move on stage or if in your room, whatever you're doing, you'll be cool. Let's get the other one on. Okay, move that into position. Oh, I like it. Before I give it the final tighten. And that is good. Easy as that. This guy back around. We are ready to go. I like the DiMarzio over my left shoulder there. I'm sure the company does too. By the way, no affiliation whatsoever with DiMarzio. Paid for every strap I've owned. They've never sent us anything, but still like to back them because I like to back companies that I believe in. And that's all I talk about on this channel is stuff that I think will help you guys in your guitar journey and playing. It is on, easy as that. Like I said, easy to un un unclip these chain straps if you need to or guitars, especially we had wireless packs which are like permanently attached to our straps here. And rather than switching around with a wireless on stage, you just grab another guitar or another strap with another pack if you needed to do that and you're good to go. These things last a lifetime. And that's that. So that's it guys. I hope you found this helpful. Like I said, super easy. And I know not everybody's real handy and sometimes it just helps to see it done. It's a big reason why YouTube's so popular, right? I'm on here all the time checking out how to do stuff. So when I know how to do something, even as easy as this, I figure I got one to do. Might as well show the people who need a little help. So again, totally recommend these things. Pick one up if you don't have one already. Outfit all your guitars with them. So they're nice and uniform, you know? Anyways, cheers. Thanks so much. If you guys found this useful, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already and give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you check out some of the other guitar tutorials on my channel here. And if you're interested, I've got a guitar instructional DVD sending out worldwide, a custom Kemper tone crate pack with all the classic Chimera and elite tones. You can check all that out, robarnoldworld.com. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.